Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is Sussex Sandra and welcome. I can't actually believe it's come around so quickly already. I am doing my monthly review of the products I received in my October beauty boxes. I seriously can't believe it's come around that quickly. It feels like I only just did the September one look a couple of weeks ago. So, wow, just shows how quickly this year is going so uh, yeah shall we go for those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time hi and welcome I know I've received a few new subscribers in the last few weeks so hi and welcome every month I try to and I'm getting more regular at doing this now every month I do try to go through the products I received in the previous month beauty boxes I subscribe to I ascribe to a, a fair amount of beauty boxes, um, I'd say about six or seven beauty boxes, a mixture of UK boxes and US boxes. The two US boxes I get are the BoxyCharm Lux box, so that's their second, is it second? That's their third tier, their, their top tier box, and that comes out every three months, and I also get the BoxyCharm Basic box, which is every month. I also subscribe to the Ipsy Glam Plus box or bag and that's their second tier um, um, box which comes out every month as well. So so yeah, on the on the UK boxes I subscribe to Birch Box, Glossy Box, Look Fantastic, um, a new one that has just come out, so Discovered Beauty, so I'll be going into that one today. Um, who else have I? So Birch Box, Glossy Box, Look Fantastic, Discovered Beauty Box and Cos Box. Um, they're the ones for the UK. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So shall we go through it? What I do try to do when I do my monthly reviews, I try to go through in order of how products are applied and they use. Sometimes I go completely out of sync, but that's because I'm scattered and disorganized. But I try my best. I have my little notebook by my side. That should hopefully keep me on track a bit. But inevitably, I do sometimes go off track. So shall we start? So cleansers let's start with cleansers so in october no actually i'll tell you what let's start off with bath and body products so in october i received here's my book <laughs> in october i received several bath and shower products so let's start so the first one was from eve parcel and i got a oh i've got a body scrub like this now if you're wondering why products look like they haven't been touched it's because they haven't been touched i haven't used them yet and some products because sometimes obviously with beauty boxes you don't know what you're going to get and not all products i want to receive so this is one of the products i tend not to keep and i do tend to give these ones away got this from eve parcel so eve parcel is a beauty box subscription it's a monthly box subscription so it's, it's the focus is on your monthly period so your menstrual cycle so you can choose to have um sanitary products so tampons and towels or you can just have the beauty products by themselves so you get two or three beauty products you'll get a, a an edible treat so like a, a biscuit or a chocolate or something and you'll get a hot beverage of some sort so it'll be a tea or a coffee this is one of the beauty products so it was a body scrub coffee scrubs um i say this all the time on my channel i don't normally like body scrubs particularly i don't like coffee scrubs i know a lot of people do so when i do receive these products i i tend to put them in a giveaway that i will be doing in the future so every month as well what i do i always keep a little box on my desk it's usually like a, an old beauty box so it tends to be like a look fantastic box or something along those sides that size and every time i do an unboxing so if there's anything inside that beauty box which i know that i definitely won't be using or i don't like it or or, or i know that my friends or family aren't going to want it either but i know somebody else will i put that in the box and that will be included in a future giveaway so my giveaways i tend to do giveaways I haven't done one for a couple of months actually, I must admit. I haven't done one for a few months, but I do try to do giveaways quite regularly. So if you hang around to join this video, there will be talk of a giveaway coming up soon. So just watch this video because at some point I'll be mentioning that giveaway. All right, so that's the first bath and body product. Second, also in East Parcel, which is one of the reasons why I have unsubscribed from East Parcel, I've got this bath and body balm from um, 
um, a scent. They're actually really nice products, but because I don't take baths, um, I've got mobility issues and I find it very difficult to bend down. If I bend down, I ain't ever getting up again. So I'm, I'm a very much a shower person, but baths, no. I'd love to have a nice relaxing bath. I really would. I haven't had one in several years. I miss having baths, but I just can't. My joints just don't allow me to, to do baths easily. So I, so things like bath products and bath bombs, I either put them in the family bathroom, so for the rest of my family and my friends to use when they come and stay over, or I put them in giveaway. The Ascent ones are actually really nice. They're nice quality ones, but again, this one is going in the giveaway box. There it goes. And final bath product I received in October was from Glossy Box. This was Glossy Box had a fantastic um, October Halloween themed boxes. So you could have either had an angel box or a devil's box. I got the devil's box. That was the actual theme. So that design you're seeing on this packet was the theme of the box. Um, and this was a foaming bath powder. So this was in the family bathroom hasn't been used yet so i just quickly retrieved it and brought it back downstairs um but this um, was received in it and i from what i've seen other people have said they said it's really really nice so that is going in the family bathroom so it will be used so onto that didn't get any body moisturizers in october which is unusual because some box always has some sort of body moisturizer um i did get um hand cream and this was in a look fantastic um i did leave it out for my mother but she just keeps on not picking it up every time she comes around so this is a hand cream i'm tempted to use it but it is for her actually but then she's going to be leaving to to go to jamaica in a couple of weeks so you know what i might just keep this because she's not going to be here for the really cold months so i think i will just open it and use it um polar are a range of products they're based in is it iceland it's one of the scandinavian countries and their products tend to be very much aimed at cold weather and keeping yourself hydrated and moisturized looking after your skin for cold weather so this is a very nice moisturizing hand cream yeah it's yeah, it's very much their quality. Nice fragrance as well. So yeah, I'll be keeping that one. Face cleansers. Did get a couple of face cleansers. So I'm going to clean my face now because I'm going to be applying products as well. So I've got three face cleansing products. So in the, let's have a look, in the birch box, got this moon pad thing. Um, I haven't actually used it. So this is, I'm assuming it's one of those sponges where it's like a makeup eraser so it can really get rid of your makeup i've got quite a few of these i've got quite a few cloths rather than pads like that my daughter got one in her birch box so she's using it and so she said it's nice um she uses it once twice and it has to go in the wash so you know it's one of those where you wish that you had four or five instead and i think when you buy them it does come in multiples i think not sure don't quote me on that so this is something that i am going to put in my giveaway box um but it's a nice product um by this brand glove so that goes in there i resubscribed to latest in beauty and i'm probably going to unsubscribe again but i'll tell you about that a bit later the reason why um in the latest in beauty i picked out a pry rose hip cleansing oil couldn't find it i do this every month there's always a couple of products i can't find last month um i know i couldn't find a few products because my family did take a few of the products away with them because they went away to my my mum my sister and my niece they went to greece for a week and they took a few products with them which is fine i just wish they told me but that's fine um now this cleansing oil i can't find it but it's like a rosehip cleansing oil i very much do like cleansing oils for cleansing my skin and removing my makeup in the evening what i do i tend to do a double cleanse so my first part of the cleanse will be an oil so it'll be an oil balm or an oil and i use that warm it up in my hands put it on my face massage it into my face and it does lift off all the makeup i then usually sort of add some warm water rub it in just loose everything up again and then i'll rinse my face and then i'll go in again with the second cleanse with a foaming cleanser of some sort so in Oct in october i received two oils now the first one i got from the um latest in beauty the rose hip cleansing oil I haven't used that yet but it will be something i will be using in the future and the second one i got um is in a box that i did unbox in september but because the box is actually came out for general release in 
October I'm mentioning it now so that this box is the discovered beauty box and in that box was this product here from skin alchemist so this is an oil um, it's a cleansing oil very expensive product I think this size bottle was something like 18 pounds so for that money don't ask me why but I think it's just a natural assumption you'd think for that it's going to be like a really superb really removes your oil your makeup really really quickly I didn't find it to be that good I had to go in with quite a large amount to to massage it into my hands and massage the make and massage the makeup off so and I the smell is supposed to be like a really great expensive fantastic ingredients it's supposed to be like exotic calming de-stressing oils I can't remember what the ingredients are the ingredients are supposed to be like really fantastic I can't read this because it's too small but the ingredients are supposed to be really really good it's got a whole lot of claims of it saying how fantastic it is for massage and scalp and the spa experience but you know what I didn't like it I don't like the smell I thought the smell was a little bit on the funky side maybe I'm just not classy enough probably um but yeah i i weren't that fond of this oil and i had to use a lot to get the my products my makeup off my face um to be honest i've had to go in either put a whole load in my hands or just put what my normal amount massage it in and then go in again with another amount so for me as an oil um i don't think it was that good i've got better oils that i've received from other places and you know which i've got upstairs which i'm using which are better than this i mean to be honest just using straight up olive oil is better than using this product so I know it sounds bad but um, yeah this certainly wasn't worth the money so I'm going to finish using it up but no for me that is not a product I would repurchase because a lot of the products I receive I do look to see if it's something I would repurchase again that as an oil cleansing oil no I wouldn't repurchase it because I am a big fan of cleansing oils and that's not one for me so let me cleanse my face whilst I carry on. So I'm just going to do, I mean I have already washed my face this morning, just haven't put any products on. So I'm just going to use um, micellar water and just cleanse my face here. Now, got quite a few masks in October. Um, I've got what, one, two, three, I've got five masks. So let's go through these. So in Look Fantastic, I've got this mask from um, OK. It's actually quite an expensive mask. I haven't actually used it yet. I should probably put it on now, shouldn't I? Um, it's got hyaluronic acid and citrus oils. And it's an illuminating, um, illuminating holographic sheet mask. I'm going to put it on now. Why not? Just hope I can still talk afterwards. But yeah, let's put it on now. See how we get on with it. Oh, it's black. Oh god, it's really dripping. Right. Ooh, ah. So it looks like that, and it's silver on the outside. So I'm assuming you put the silver side on your face like so. Whoa. This gives a new meaning to blackface. If you know what I mean. Right, okay. If you don't know what blackface is, look it up. But um, basically it's offensive, so don't do it. If you're dressing up as a black person, like for Halloween and parties, all that sort of thing, you go to a costume party, Dress up as a black person, wear their clothing or whatever, but don't go around painting your face black or darkening your face. That's offensive. Don't do that. Yeah, so that's blackface. Just put the clothes on, you know, and, and go with that. Even go ahead and put a wig on, but don't go darkening your face because that is straight up offensive. Right, so that's blackface. Right, okay. So I've got this mask on. It doesn't seem to want to stay on my chin. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm just going to talk you through the other mask that I got. <laughs> I'll keep this on for, how long did I say to keep this mask on for? Let's have a look. They usually have like pictures of time. Oh, 10 to 20 minutes. So that's what I say on the back. 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to keep this on for 10 to 20 minutes and I'll take it off. Right, so here we go. So that's the first mask. So I've got this in Look Fantastic. And if I remember correctly, it's actually quite an expensive mask. Ooh, lots of serum coming down my face here. Also in Glossy Box, I've got this one. Um, this was from Kebella Beauty Plumping Gold Peel Mask. Uh, I don't know if it's a whole... F yes, I, I, I don't know. This is contains real gold powder. So yeah, I'll have to try this another time. But I haven't got around to trying that one yet. So I've got that in the Glossy Box. This is not staying on my face. Is it because I'm talking? Probably. 
um, I got in look incredible box so I chose this one it was a charcoal soul lister charcoal detox mask everything about this sounds great to me one that it says soul lister that name just makes me feel good I like the sound of it and it's charcoal as well so um, basically charcoal has been anything with charcoal ingredients if it's actually got real charcoal ingredients in it is has been proven to be really good for clarifying lifting out impurities in the skin and you know just like you know just purifying clarifying the skin and obviously detoxing it as well so i do tend to go for things like charcoal cleansers <laughs> charcoal this is a mess charcoal cleansers um and and masks anything like that i do tend to go for those sorts of things so that's what we got i picked out in a look look incredible box and the final mask was a choice item we got in the birch box so with birch box they tend to ask you to choose one item so you get an email probably about a week or two weeks later asking you to choose an item and the item that it chose asked us to choose was a mask so you could have had a morning mask or an evening mask and i chose this evening goggle eye mask so i haven't used that yet obviously but it will get used right i'm going to come back to you in about 10 15 minutes after i've taken this mask off <laughs> all right show you in a bit okay i am back let's take this off now oh wow oh some of the serum got in my eye it's a bit stingy oh ouch so I'm wearing contact lenses, so um, it's a bit stingy, but oh yes, my skin does feel very hydrated. Right, so that's the mask. That was nice actually, very nice. Um, I'm going to keep this, put this in a packet so I can use it to put on my neck later, but yeah, that's nice. Because there's usually enough inside those serum packets to, um, you know, just apply the stuff again later on. So I'm just going to let that absorb into my skin before I apply the next lot of products so let's continue right so we've done that we've done the face mask um toners oh i should have done the toner before i've done the mask see i told you i was going to start getting things out of sync so toner wise um i got those i've got two toners in the asos box so um the asos box is a monthly beauty box from asos so far i haven't seen anything on the asos website so far for this november so it seems to be a bit late in do something there's a men's grooming box there which is 12 pounds um but that was there last month so i'm not sure if they're going to release something for this month or not i'll keep a look at and obviously if they do have something which i'm interested in i will purchase it and get it um asos do normally do a beauty box it costs 12 pounds it's not a subscription so it literally is first come first serve so what we got in october was this full size um rose tonic which is rather nice it's a calming tonic i'm not going to put it on now because obviously i've just done the serum because i'm a bit backward like that and they gave us a sample size of the glow tonic one so you've seen this one before that's the original glow tonic which has got i think it's got glycolic acid in it yeah and it's more of an exfoliating toner whereas this one is more of a calming toner i do have still got remnants of the glow tonic one i bought a super size one Oh, probably about a year and a half ago from QVC, I bought two of these. This is the last of the second bottle. So you can see the size of that. So it's glycolic acid, 5% plus aloe vera and ginseng. So that's the original toner. So that's what I've got for toners in, in October. And let's go on. Face serums. I got one face serum and that was in Birchbox, which I was actually really quite pleased about, to be honest. So this um, got in Birchbox. I haven't opened it yet because, I, again, I've got other products in use at the moment, but it's something I'm looking forward to going to, actually. And it's another Scandinavian product. So just like Polar, which is from, I'm pretty certain that Polar is from Iceland. Got this from um, Finland. And look at that. Doesn't that look great? So it's a, it's a serum oil like that, and I've got that in the birch box, which I was very pleased about. So yeah, so you shake it up, it's nice oil to put on. So I won't be putting that on today again, because again, I've got the serum on. So this is, it's nearly dry, not quite ready yet, but it's nearly there. Um, moisturizers, did I get any face moisturizers? Didn't get any face moisturizers, which I'm surprised about. 
Oh no, tell a lie, did get a face moisturiser. Um, got a face moisturiser from BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm is one of my US ones. So this is it. So I got from BoxyCharm, from Touch Insole. Seems to be a brand that seems to be popping up all over the place at the moment. And this is a glassy, um, it's a pretty filter, glassy skin balm. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on now probably going to be laden my skin with too much moisture but you know what I'm not going anywhere now I've already been out today so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on but th this um they're calling it a balm but I actually really like it it's quite light it's not as greasy as some balms that I have tried in the past from other brands have been um this one is actually quite nice it smells nice it's hydrating it seems to last a long time so it's all good. So let's put that on. So my skin's probably glowing now. I'm being polite, as in my skin is probably looking rather shiny. But I tell you what, my skin does feel rather nice. It feels like I've been to a spa. But yes, I am looking probably a little bit shiny right now. And that's the problem when you've got oily skin. These kind of products I tend to do at night time or I might just do one item only in the daytime. Um, I did get um, beauty tools. So I got some brushes from um, my Ipsy. So I'll show you the brushes I got. And these brushes I was actually quite pleased with. Um, wasn't quite sure about the use of the brushes, but they looked good. So I'll show you the brushes. There's three of them. Let's find it. Oh, there we go. So this is the only beauty tools I got in October. So it was these three brushes from Ipsy. I just really liked them. They've got this whole navy tint thing going on. Um, I have used this one actually. I have used this one and I've used this one. I haven't really used this brush yet. But it's just really nice. It's just the whole design of them. So if you want to see me wax lyrical about these brushes, just go to my Ipsy video um, where I, where I, where, when I unboxed it. But yeah, I was quite impressed with those brushes actually because they just look good. Um, how functional they are is another matter, but they looked good. Okay, moving on. Didn't get any shampoo in October. Um, the beauty box I the beauty subscription I normally get is from Treasure Trust but I've changed my subscription to that now to every two months so the next one I'll be getting will be the is it this month yeah I'll be getting I'll be getting a Treasure Trust this month November conditioners I got two lots of conditioners so one I picked out in the latest in beauty haven't got it with me but I'll put a picture of it up above here or there either side of my head and it's from Umberto Giannini Umberto Giannini and it was a banana buttercream conditioner um, and really nice my daughter's nabbed that she's got that she's using it and she's really enjoying it and I've seen that a lot of people seem to be using it and enjoying the product as well um, I was surprised that it, it was suitable for so many different hair types I must admit so this is just me being a little bit pre prejudiced here because I literally thought it was for people with my natural hair type not this crochet braiding my natural hair tough people who've got very dry hair or very curly hair or textured hair but it seems like um, caucasian hair um seems to be enjoying the product as well so they're using it very lightly they're putting it at their ends leaving it overnight rinsing it out and making their hands it's, it just seems to be smoothing their hair down it's not weighing hair down at all um, it's leaving their hair lovely and conditioned and silky so people have been of all different hair types have been really enjoying that product so that was a, a big plus for latest in beauty i'd definitely say it's one of the biggest pluses they had because last month they they kind of annoyed me with one of the products, but again, I'll t talk to you about that a bit later on. Um, and the other hair products I received, I don't know if I've got it here with me. I got it in the, I've got it in my boxy charm, which is a bit of a surprise product to get, but I did get it. Let me show it to you. Um, this is from Briogeo, Don't Repair or Don't Despair Repair. It's a leave-in spray conditioner and it's really good. It's a really good product. Again, the product that's suitable for all hair types. And it's just it's just one of those products you can leave it in. Um, 
I, with my type of hair we just leave it in we don't rinse it out with sort of Caucasian hair type something you can leave in as a conditioner and then you can rinse out and it will leave your hair just leaves your hair conditioned it leaves it tamed no frizziness your strands feel strong and elastic as you can pull it and it will bounce back you know it's just a really good product it's one of those things it's a spray bottle you put it in continual use of this and you will see the difference in your hair this is a great product so i was surprised to get it but very pleased that i got it because it is a it's a very popular product in my household and i've managed to keep that one my daughter hasn't nabbed it um i got a smaller one in a previous month so she's got that in her room so for now i'm able to just enjoy that one primers now what primers did i receive the three products i've received as primers so let's go through those the first one I got in my ASOS Beauty box. This is from um, Pixies. Um, so the October ASOS box was, it was a brand box. So it was for Pixie. And this was a Rose Flash Balm. Right, so the whole idea of this balm is that it's supposed to be like a skin booster. It's supposed to wake up lacklustre skin. So it's not something I'm going to apply today because obviously I've already applied products to my skin. And as you can see, my skin's looking rather glowing and radiant right now. So I don't need to apply this onto my skin. So, But that was a nice product to receive. The product I got in, I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and it was from touch and soul so it's another touch and soul product and this time it was a no problem priming water so um wasn't sure about this product if, if it was going to be any good or not but it actually it seems all right and because it's a water you know i'm going to put this on now because again i'm not going anywhere so i'm going to put this on now because it's not another layer of grease or moisturizing product it's more of a hydrating product so i'm just done a drop they say you only need a couple of drops so i'm literally just going to do a couple of drops on my fingertips and the thing about it even though it is a water it does when it does dry down it does leave the skin feeling i said this last time i'm sure i did it does leave the skin feeling smooth but you can see that it's got a slight tackiness as well so foundation can adhere to it you know do you know what I mean? Right. Didn't receive any powders in any of my boxes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to set my face with some powder. Let's continue. Don't laugh. I've just put my foundation on. So I've literally put my foundation on. I've done my under eye concealing. I've done my contour. And I'm just setting my under eye concealer with setting powder. Using the banana powder we got in last month's September's glossy box. Right moving on right so i didn't and again this sort of surprises me as well didn't get any highlighters um in october didn't get any brow products which i'm thankful for because anytime i do get brow products they usually the wrong shade anyway so no brow products no setting powders no blush no highlighter um got some eyeshadows though so i got oh four lots of different eyeshadows so let's go through those first eyeshadow i got which i thought was absolutely gorgeous was from glossy box this was again in the october halloween devil box and it was from style london and it was a velvet touch palette look at that so i am i'm actually going to put this on today but yeah that was just a gorgeous one haven't used it yet so yeah time to put that on also got in um my boxy charm i got the dose of colors baked browns so oh you probably picked it up in the video if you watch my video of my boxy charm unboxing so i got this dose of colors and um i was just a tad disappointed in the shades i got so i got the baked browns but there were some other shades available there was um there were some blushing ber berries there was some sienna colors so it was all nice rosy red colors um there was a pinky one mauvey one and i think there was one called something angels which was a bit more colorful palettes again so getting the baked browns one i was a bit i was a bit mm, 
yeah it's a bit bland and boring for me but the colors work these are very much everyday neutral colors so if i didn't want to do anything flash at all just want to do a quick makeup look this palette is suitable for that because no it's all colors that show up on me because this brand is extremely pigmented goes on beautifully blends beautifully works with other colors great no, no muddying of colors at all works really really well so it was a nice palette I also got in the Ipsy box, I got this Tarte, um, oh god what's it called, this Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot, really didn't know what to do with this actually, um, I'm so not going to use it, I was literally going to put it on eBay to sell, I'm still not sure if I'm, what I'm going to do with it, I know I'm not going to use it because I've got other gold colours in other palettes because I prefer using palettes because it's easier for me and I've got this colour in other in other products so again not sure what to do about that um, most of you when I did the video were saying oh don't don't give it away sell it you know don't, don't be silly sell it so I might just do that my only qualm was is that I did use it to apply on my face in that video so I don't know if I can get away with using or selling it because I have used it once already and the other eyeshadow I got was in the look fantastic box this was from the balm I actually like the balm because I think their packaging is really funny it's witty and it's just innovative sort of packaging this was an eyeshadow in this sort of champagne color um, again, this is something I've, these are colours I've got in many, 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 many palettes. So I wasn't going to keep this one. So this I definitely put in a giveaway. But it was a nice product, but I'm not going to be keeping that. So that goes in my giveaway box. This one I'm not sure about as yet. I really am just not sure what to do with that. So for now, I might put it, I'll just put it in the giveaway box. I mean, it's a nice high value. It was about 20 something pounds, 22 pounds. It's sold for in the UK. So if that goes in the giveaway, you know what I mean? You know my giveaways are good. I don't put any old crap in there. You won't get any Primark or anything like that in my giveaways. My giveaway prizes will have products from beauty boxes. So products that I'm not going to use, as I said, or they might have products in there which I've gone out and purchased for that giveaway and sometimes it might just be a whole beauty box in itself i might be giving that away right so let's apply this eyeshadow palette i mean these are great colors aren't they i mean that's this is just autumn all over i'm going to start off with the center color and just do that as my crease color and we'll go from there nicely pigmented I keep the powder under my eyes just in case there's any fallout from the eyeshadow so then when I finish my eyeshadow look I can then brush everything away and also double purpose it sets my concealer under my eyes All right, so this is very nice eyeshadow it's going on blending out nicely creamy formula it's good we'll see how well it works when I put some other colors on top of it see if it actually blends out or if it, if it muddies Next, going to go in with the sort of darker brown colour just to go in and add a little bit more depth. Yep, the colours are working well together, so that's a good start. Right, I'm going to go in with this sort of rose gold colour here. This brush I'm using now is a brush that I got in my Discovered Beauty box, so I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Right, I really like this rose gold colour. It goes on almost like a foil, it's like a nice wet texture, so I like that. And again, it's applying really nicely on top of the other colours without wetting the brush, so that says something. I'm pretty impressed with that. Right, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to go in with this yellow colour here to go on the inward colours, the inner part of my eye. See how that works. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this yellow colour. It's a little bit pale. Can you see how it's looking at the moment? It's a little bit pale, but it's all right, but it's not as nice. Seems to be a different um, opacity to the other colours. 
Whereas the other powdered colours I put on went on nice and solid and gave off a good colour, this one seems to be, you need to really apply it and it's still not giving off that great colour give off, which, you know, okay. Let me put that brush there because it will need to be cleaned later. Right, this is the other brush that came. There's three brushes that came in a Discover Beauty box, but again, I'll go through those afterwards. That's how the eyeshadow is looking at the moment. So I'm going to finish it off with doing my brows and then I'll do the eyeliner in a moment. So there we go. That's the eye look. We're using the Glossy Box Style London. Really like it. Beautiful um, colours. They blend out beautifully. Goes on creamy powder. Blends out. All the other colours can go on top of it. They um, they don't muddy. See, so, you know, sometimes with cheaper palettes, with cheaper formulas, when you put the colours on top of each other, they start to muddy and they blur, and you can't get any definition. But these blend out really, really nice. The only one I had a bit of an issue with was this this kind of yellow honey colour in the top corner there. That one was a bit pale. It didn't give me the opacity that I actually really like in the corner. But all the others great really really like this formula so i did well for eyeshadows in october so these two items yeah really really good very pleased with those very pleased indeed right let's go on to eyeliners so in the month of october i got a hell of a lot of eyeliners i don't know what was going on it felt like every beauty box i received there was an eyeliner in it so let's start off in the asos box which is one of the first boxes i get each month was the Pixie Endless Eyeliner. This is a beautiful silky eyeliner. It's gorgeous. It goes on really, really well. For a pencil, it's a solid black. It glides on beautifully. You can, it just, there's no skipping and scratching, especially if your eyes are a little bit dry or maybe a little bit wrinkled. This will glide over it. You don't have to worry about your defined lines. This pencil does really, really well. I've already got two two of these i've already got two or three of these already so this one which i've got in the asos box i'm putting in my giveaway so there it goes giveaway it goes the other eyeliners i got i got in east parcel i got a rimmel scandal eyes liner let's see if i can find that one so i've got a rimmel one scandal eyes liquid eyeliner um there you go just a typical liquid eyeliner again that's going in a giveaway yeah so this one we got in the glossy box I, did, I didn't even open the box to see what it looks like so let's open that now but by the time i got the glossy box i was already over the, the receipt of um eyeliner so okay it's a pink casing so at least it stands out and what kind of eyeliner is it just have a look okay so it's one of those sort of pencil ones when you can yeah you can scroll it up with the end so it's like that so you can get nice definition with that but again this goes in a giveaway so that's three eyeliners I'm so far in the giveaway so the other two I will keep in the boxy charm where is it I have been using it now where is it here we go I knew there was another one in the boxy charm I've got a pencil eyeliner by Luna by Luna I've actually been using it because it's just been quick it's been on my table because I didn't put it away after I did the boxy charm unboxing and I've been using it and it's fine it's as a pencil eyeliner it's fine it's not a solid solid dark black but it works it's fairly it's not as smooth as some pencil liners. so if I compare it to the pixie one nowhere near as smooth and it glides on like that but it works okay it's functional um it's actually quite expensive I, I mean personally I wouldn't repurchase this if I was going to buy a pencil eyeliner it'd definitely be the pixie one because the pixie one okay yes it's smaller but it's just perfect and it's a solid black goes on beautifully whereas this one not as black not as smooth not as creamy you know what I mean it's just not as in, in all ways so yes I've been using it it's fine but it's not something I would go out of my way and purchase it's a very average pencil eyeliner and for the price you can definitely do better in the birch box I got a Ciate London um, fierce flicks eyeliner haven't unsealed this one so this one will probably go in a giveaway as well or I might even try and sell it let's I'll see how much it is and see if it's worth selling or not or I'll just put it in a giveaway box as well so that's a Ciate London one so put it down there because I won't be using it and this one I have been using this one came in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus so that was the October Ipsy um Ipsy in 
in October had the theme of Betty Boop and this was I got the Betty Boop eyeliner which is fine so that's what I'm going to put on now and then we'll continue okay eyeliner on looking good happy with that so that's fine did i get a mascara in october didn't get any mascaras in october so i'm just going to put on a mascara now right we are coming to the end so i filled in the rest of my face so i've done my brows done the mascara you can see the eyeliner and the eyeshadow properly now because i've brought you in a bit closer put some blush on put some highlighter on because um i didn't receive in october any blush or any highlighters and i think i'm quite i'm kind of glad about the highlighter situation because during spring and summer i received a lot of highlighters so yeah so that those are all done we are now moving on to lips didn't receive any lip liners so i've already put on my mac chestnut lip liner did receive um lipstick so from glossy box i received the lords and berry um what's it called maxi matte lipstick crayon in a red color i did put this on during the glossy box video um just a straight red lip color um, it's very dry so it's one of those that you will need to put on a gloss on top but it's nice it's it, it's long lasting it's okay it's nothing special it's just a straight up red lip pencil so that's fine um i lord and berry just seems to be it's not a brand i have seen anywhere else but in beauty boxes particularly glossy box so they must have some sort of relationship with glossy box and look fantastic um there seems to be quite highly priced products um, personally I don't think the products are worth it because I don't think the quality of the products warrant the price they charge for their products or they say they charge for the products very much like the um, skincare brand Avant who seem to have super inflated prices for their products but again I don't see why the products cost that much money and nobody would really go out and buy those products at their price what they but they're more than happy to receive these products in beauty boxes you know what i mean so it's the kind of thing you wouldn't go out and buy but you're more than happy to receive them in beauty boxes so that was fine um lip glosses received quite a few lip glosses so the third first lip gloss i got was in ipsy and this is the pixie lip lift in sheer rose i absolutely love this it's really 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 nice um it's actually i mean i like it so much it's actually in my work bag my makeup bag which i bring to work every day and it's, again it's one of those i will if i just want to put something on quick i'll put it on it's supposed to have that sort of plumping benefit so when you put it on it does tingle a little bit don't actually know if it does um plump your lips just please let me know if you've ever seen the benefits of that but as a color I, I loved it it's it's like um you can't really tell from here but when you go on on my skin tone it's like a very nice nude like a, a pinky brown nude really nice color not okay i'll put it on now just to show you that i'm going to wipe it off because it's not the color i intend on wearing today but just to show you So that's what it looks like on my skin tone. It's just a really nice everyday colour. Just going to wipe that off because it's not a colour, it's not what I want to wear today. Um, I also got, let's have a look, um, in BoxyCharm I received this. Um, it was from Iconic London and it was another plumping lip gloss. This colour was just a joke on me. So, so pale. It's a shame that I actually put it on in the video because I would have been more than happy to put this in a giveaway. Um, it's just way too pale. Why it ended up in my box, I have no idea. Because there were some other choices available. There were three shades that were available. There was a red colour, which I would have been happy with. There was a more of a purpley colour. Again, would have been happy with it. This colour, no, just no. It's ghastly on me. It's, it's an absolutely horrible colour. So if anything, I'm probably going to throw that away because I've used it. It's gone on my lips. And there's nobody I know who'd want to use that again. No, nobody in my family is going to want to use that colour. So all I can do with it really is to throw it in the bin. And in the Ipsy Glam Bag 
um, products. This is one of the selections. I got these from Jules and Smith. Really, really nice. Um, beautiful formula. So I'm, I've kept that one. So this one was called Namaste. See how it's getting dark. It's gonna, you're gonna hear the rain in a second. Um, so I kept that one. So that was Namaste. And this one I've put into a giveaway. But both really nice colours. Beautiful formula. Yeah, really happy with those. So that was that. Um, I think that was it with the lip products. Yeah, I didn't. Get, yeah, that was it as far as the lip colour. So I'm just going to put that on now. Yes, look how dark it suddenly got. I don't want to put the ring lights on, but I might need to. Okay, here it comes. Rain's coming down. okay the rain has arrived so that's how this one looks for me and i really like it so that i would say is my finished look for the day let me just spray my face and then i'll go through the miscellaneous products my miscellaneous section so in miscellaneous section i got a lip balm in look fantastic so um I did give this to my daughter to, to use because I've really enjoyed and I still use very regularly the one I got in a glossy box much earlier in the year. Um, it was a flavoured one in pink casing. Um, so I gave this one to my daughter to use but for some reason or another it's come back down in my study so I'm not sure if she wanted to keep it or not but it's down here at the moment but again as lip balm is really good as I said the one I've been using I use every day the other one I got from them from Glossy Box earlier in the year just nice quality lip balms um, so there's that I also got in Look Fantastic this a wet brush not for my hair type nobody in my family is going to use this so that's gone in the giveaway um also got i've talked to you about the glove pad in my latest in beauty i chose a whitening toothpaste so i'll probably start using this this week because the glossy box charcoal toothpaste i've got in september that's nearly finished it literally is, i'm near the last scrapes of it now so i'll be going on to use this toothpaste after to see how i get on with that so this was from an australian company i've never heard of before um they were called natural family company or something like that i can't remember what they were called but it's an australian brand and vegan fluoride free 70 percent organic ingredients and cruelty free so i thought okay that's interesting so i'm going to give that a go nice full-size toothpaste also oh this was the most interesting product picked this up in the look looking the latest in beauty box as well so this is a crystal deodorant i don't know if anybody's ever seen these or used these before so this was incognito natural crystal deodorant and it was a citronella fragrance so there you go that's what it looks like sorry about the darkness guys it's just this downpour is going on so hopefully when it stops it will get brighter but so it was that this is great um i was looking at the reviews for the product afterwards so a lot of people have purchased it basically because of the citronella and they use it as an insect repellent and it works and that's the citronella but as a deodorant it's fantastic it's honestly it's like the best deodorant i've ever used i've recently stopped using sprays and roll-ons and i've been using the paste products from natural native earth which that's something I was introduced to by a birch box sort of last year sometime. So I've been using those paste deodorants, which are good. They are good. I, I enjoy using them. But this, I didn't think this would work. So it's actually like a, a rock crystal, like that. How you use it, you dampen it. So you either dampen the crystal or you make sure your armpits are, are damp. How I use it, so as soon as I come out of the shower, I'm still fairly damp anyway. Um, and then I just sort of literally just put it on under my arms and that's it you don't think anything is coming off because it's not like the normal products we're used to using but it's so effective no fragrance no no, no odors at all completely dry not joking even to the next day when I have my shower nothing at all I reckon this is going to last me bloody ages um I want to go back on to the lipsticks now. So in lipsticks, in my latest in beauty order, I, I haven't got it here because I've actually thrown it away. Um, I picked out a lipstick from a brand called Dr. Horschka and it was a really lovely colour. It was like a deep 
burgundy, deep red kind of, perfect for autumn, winter, Christmas, all that kind of thing. And when I when I did my video, a couple of people mentioned in my video um, in the comments section that I should check the the date because they looked at it and they saw that the date expired very very soon. And with lipstick products, you expect at least a 12 month, two year kind of shelf life, don't you? So when I went to use it, uh, it was last week, one morning, I went to put it on and I remembered, oh, let me check the date. So I turned it over, checked the date and I was like, oh, you're joking me. The expiry date for it or the best before date was December 2019. So I was like, damn. So I filmed it. I put it on Instagram to show people and going by the comments underneath my Instagram post, everybody had the same issue the product was uh december 2019 and i understand another youtuber willow biggs in her video when she checked her one apparently it was all hairy a la jacqueline hill hairy not moldy looking products it's like oh damn so i immediately i on instagram and i sent them the video and a message on facebook didn't receive a response for a good four days, I would say, four days, five days. When I when they did respond, they said, right, sorry for the inconvenience, can um, for sending that. They've only been made aware of the problem. Could I send them an email? So I emailed them at the hello at latestinbeauty.com address. They acknowledged response. They acknowledge they've received my email and they said it will take sort of 24 to 48 hours to um, to reply. Yeah, that was last week. That was last week. I haven't heard nothing from them. So Latest in Beauty, shame on you. Because a lot of people like Latest in Beauty as a brand. It's just a great beauty box. The, the idea behind it is fantastic. But you can pick out three, six or nine items at a set price and that's it. To be given us products... Um, which are out of date, shelf life, shelf life is rubbish, is not what we expect. It's the kind of thing I expect from the, the crappy beauty boxes that have come and gone over the last few years. Um, I'm, I'm assuming there's some sort of warehouse up, up north somewhere or somewhere down south, some strange warehouse where they collect end of stock items from brands and these people who want to set up a beauty box, they go in, pick out their items and say, yeah, here's a beauty box and try and sell it for 25 quid on, online to us, us mugs here who, who willingly try out beauty boxes. Um, so I'm assuming Latest in Beauty must have gone to the same warehouse and picked up these lipsticks and you'd think for a brand that's been around for so long a popular and a big brand because a lot of people subscribe to latest and beauty it's been going for a few years now you'd think they would have some sort of quality control and they will check so it's either that they completely missed the mark on this one or they literally for uh, us, us customers we wouldn't notice because we're all stupid and we wouldn't notice and if that's what they thought really because everyone's noticed and everyone's bloody annoyed so i'd be interested to find out if anybody's received an apology or some sort of compensation or are they gonna promise to give you something else in your next box no have you heard anything from them because i've heard nothing and i think it's damn shameful really really shameful for a brand to do that to give us this lipstick which looked great really did look great but you know two three months shelf life not from three months two months shelf life really and then again someone to receive a hairy one nah that ain't good man it's not good at all so there you go that is my review for all of my um beauty box products <laughs>